Now, to be fair, we decided to also have sort of a control to all this, where we were talking about a lot of guns that are specifically used as sniper rifles, to which you would expect to get a certain level of accuracy out of the gun. So the question was, well, what kind of accuracy do you get just out of your average garden variety right. AEG? This, so we did. We decided yeah. to try this out. This is a G&G Combat Machine Raider L, so it does have you know the full uh, like carbine length barrel, and it just has the rail system, G&G gearbox, and everything. FPS wise, you're going to be shooting with a point two around 330 to 350 in that ballpark, and then um, from accuracy, we did take it up here, same distance, 100 feet, point three gram BBs, and our grouping was eight inches, which, which was the same as what we got with the with the EBR mm -hmm. for the most we did I mean we did outfit it with a scope and a, and a bipod and we shot it in the prone stance but we did not you know modify the internals we didn't touch it this is a brand new gun we just got it off the truck yeah you could still so, it's, it's still, still got the, tag. the tags on it so this is a, so a brand new this gun. this is what I would call surprising yeah, to, that, to consider absolutely. that this has that amount of accuracy uh, right out of the box now I know somebody is gonna talk about how you know Maybe we're, we're BSing a little bit or, no, this or something. Is, this, but this is 100% no yeah. BS. We tried all these other guns at the same range. We did all the same things with every gun. We bore sighted them, we test fired them, and then we fired them at the target from a prone position with a bipod and a telescopic sight. And, and to go alongside that, we already mentioned all the caveats with the different guns, You know whether it, w it was used or we had to replace certain parts or if we did modify the internal. So and that's we're sort of trying the, to the confusing part yeah. to me is we're, we had guns with barrel lengths that are literally twice the length of this gun. This this has a 300 to 360 millimeter barrel. We were shooting guns that had 650 millimeter barrels and we were not getting any better. We were actually getting worse accuracy than we were getting out of a stock G&G Raider L. Which then, you know, kind of begs the question, why were those what guns the, what the hell? performing that way? I mean, if we had to replace certain internals, it's possible that it just, it's not the right internals. Or the or anomaly whatever. factor where we were looking at some guns that we normally consider to be kind of good that turned out to be kind of bad. Is this an anomaly that this is a gun that right. rolled off the assembly line that's particularly w better made than the other guns that right. you normally see? Now, I have to say about the GNG brand, which I said before about the EBR, they're outstanding. The quality of oh, them, yeah. the, uh, the customer service that you get. We use G&G guns here on a regular basis as our rental guns because for the main reason that they're 100% dependable. They just, you beat the crap out of them and they just keep coming back for more. And in a business like ours where we need to have the guns online so that people can use them, it's no good to me to have a fancy gun that's absolutely useless, that doesn't work. Um, we need guns to actually perform. The huge surprise out of this is that we're getting better mm -hmm. accuracy out of a bone stock, fairly inexpensive gun. This is sort of our starter gun or, or intermediate at, at worst. Um, and you're getting everything you need. You can dress it up, you can put a longer barrel on it, you can go through all that stuff and you're not gonna really gonna get better accuracy. Mm -hmm. What, what, can you, what can you draw from this whole thing? That's right. sort of the confusing now, thing. I was hoping to get to the end of the video and say, okay, if you put a 650 millimeter tight bore barrel and a 120 M120 spring in it, all this other stuff, you're gonna get appreciable better accuracy. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. And um, you know, before we mentioned, we're not trying to make this video sound like a sales pitch. We really just wanted to know what the accuracy was. And of course, there's other variables that are gonna play into account. You know, we have 100 feet that we were shooting at. Um, you know, we can't go any farther than that. We're not testing different hop-ups like R hops or flat hops or anything like that. We are going with standard hop-ups, you know, just a nub and a bucking. You know, barrel lengths and tight bores and stuff is all gonna be dependent on the rifle, which we informed you of. And it just so happens that at the end of the day, the G&G combat machine, at, at least in this scenario, worked Great. I can't really say anything else about it. It's got I'm, the I'm, accuracy. I'm both uh, completely amazed and confused by the whole thing because I, I really wanted to spend. I'm I'm actually a little let down because I went to all this trouble with all these other freaking guns and I expected to yeah. be able to say this giant thing with a with this massive barrel is going to give you way better accuracy. And <laughs> now, I, I will say from a player standpoint, I completely understand that if you go to buy this, you might not feel like you're in a sniper role. No. And, and I totally understand that. So if you are looking for a sniper and you decide to buy the UTG Shadow Ops, 
totally acceptable choice. I mean, I think that you can buy any of these if you but like. It, it's not when you've got yeah. when you've got a 300 round magazine compared to a, a 20 mm -hmm. round magazine, the gun weighs a, a fraction of what the other gun weighs. It's fully automatic and semi-automatic, and it has a short enough barrel that you can do CQB with mm -hmm. it, and it has a velocity that's approved for either indoor or outdoor use. What the hell would you spend all that extra money? You, you're just paying for something for looks at that point. You're really not- Looks, the name, possibly. I, what I will say is that I think uh, to a degree you can spend like you know you spent five hundred dollars on the gng ebr i mean you're gonna get a very good gun it's if you look at it from a technical standpoint yeah it's, it's comparable to this i mean this performed the same if not slightly better than the gng but the ebr you know you are paying for that whole metal body this is the nylon fiber body which is great there's nothing wrong with that but if you want that total realism, I think at that point, you, you know, with the $500 price that tag, is, you know, you're paying is, for the realism. That's part of the deal when you're playing airsoft for a lot of people is looks. Right, and, 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 and feel. And, and, and it's more, more form over uh, uh, function, where they yeah. just, just want to have a particular look. And, we, and having a gun that performs a certain way is not absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that we tested 10 guns, and uh, I mean, there's so many more than that out there. There could be I, guns for this price point that are even better. I'd even know. like to see maybe do a video, because we sell so many of these, do 10 of these. And oh yeah, the and accuracy just on check them. them all. Keep checking our channel, because that'd probably be another video that we're gonna do in the future to see what kind of consistency we get after just out of the combat out machines. of these because if this holds up uh the way that it's looking you know and this continues then i i would probably tell most people just if you're thinking about buying something buy this if you want to look like a sniper buy a freaking long suppressor and put a scope on it and a bipod and you've got everything you need um i know there's some guys that want to buy particular guns for a particular look but that's that's up to you, you know, if, if that's what you're into airsoft for. Like I said before, there's some guys that come here that dress up, that wear all the, the clothes and the accoutrements, and they'll play two games and just hang out and talk shop with guys in the staging area where they just they just want to look like they're doing right. something. And, I mean, and that's know, cool too. Yeah, I mean, it's you're, you play airsoft for your own reasons. Like if you just want to look Unless really you play badass. Unless you airsoft with the idea that I wanted to get into this because I was going to pick up chicks you're probably yeah, well, you know, you're, you're probably not going to pick up chicks. But if you're but doing this for all the reasons that normal people play airsoft for, you know, if, if we're cool with all if of you're, them. Yeah, if you're doing something that makes you happy, if you just want to look really cool, you, you might even suck at airsoft, but if you come out, you have fun, you, you like to look cool, and to you that's a win, I mean, do it. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't let other people dissuade you from that. It's just that what we're trying to inform you is that looks can be deceiving, I guess. Yeah, and you don't always get what you pay yeah. for. Sometimes you get more than what you pay oh, for. Oh, yeah. A lot of times you get a lot less than what you pay for. And I think the one thing you can really take home from all of this is the great thing about this place here all of these guns that you're seeing are available here at this arena so if you want to try them out for yourself if you don't believe us and you want to see for yourself what's going on with these guns you can come down here and try every single one of these out play in a game for yourself and make up your own mind about it we're you know we're obviously a business here and we're trying to make money but at the same time I, I have nothing to hide as far as what, right. what we uh, put up here as far as the accuracy, would, the quality. It would be a disservice to be, you know, to not be transparent with this. Yeah, I mean, and if you're lying about it anyway, people are going to figure that out yeah. sooner or later. But if you want to check me on my facts, come on down. I, I welcome anybody's input on this. Or if you have your own guns and you want to uh, put them up against the results that we have here, we have the sniper range here in the arena. You're welcome to try that out for yourself. Yeah, after after this test, I mean, I, I know I'm really interested to see what other guns can perform at these levels. Like, even completely stock guns, I mean, anything could happen, I guess, at this point. So, right. if you got something that you really want to test, bring it on down. Like, I, I really want to see it. Right. Well, there you go. So, that's it for this week. Um, if you want to check out more about the Airsoft Arena, you can come on down or check us out on the web at ReplayAirsoft.com. Or Facebook. Or Facebook. Alex is actually our official uh, Facebook yeah. moderator. Yeah. Um, check us out or come on down for yourself. And until the next time, don't let the bastards get you down.